everybody. I, uh, we're going to do some card flip through, see if we can't catch up on a couple of these decks I've gotten lately. Um, I'm going to do one right now. This is Wisdom of the Oracle Divination Cards by Colette Baron Reed. Um, and I'm going blank on the artist's name, but it's in the description box so y'all can look it up. Uh, anyway, let me pause the camera, or pause and change camera, pause and change the cameras, Blah, I'll get it out in a minute, and we'll go through this deck, hold tight, okay, here we go, this is the cover of the box, Wisdom of the Oracle, by Colette Baron reed and we pull co cover off, this box over here. Okay, here we go. Number one, Yang. The essential meaning for this card is the max, the masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen, taking action. Okay. What's really kind of cool about this is with the guidebook. Let me show y'all real quick. Okay, first you have an essential meaning. Then you have the oracle's message from it. And then you get the... What is that? I can't read upside down. The relationship message. There we go. And then you have the prosperity message. And then you have the protection message. So it just depends on what kind of question is being asked as to which message you're going to use out of the guidebook. I thought that was kind of cool. I haven't seen any other decks that do that a lot. Okay. Number two is yin. Essential meanings. The feminine principle of receptivity letting someone else make the first move, gathering information and taking in cues, the art of conscious allowing. Number three. This would help if I flip the page here, wouldn't it? Between worlds. The essential meaning is transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another, a temporary blindness, no man's land. All right. Number three, or excuse me, number four, higher power. Essential meanings, conscious contact with a higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. Number five, orphaned. A sense of loss, an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. That was number five, yes. Okay, number six, not for you. A clear knowing that something is being denied you. Rejection is God's protection. And of course, you can substitute the word God with Whatever higher source you call on, that's up to the individual. Number seven, to the sea. Being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. Okay. Number eight. Community, 
belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. Number nine, Treasure Island. The law of attraction bringing dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking made manifest. Abundance appearing as if from nowhere. Financial gains and the sharing of good fortune. Number 10. Unfinished symphony. Unfinished business. An incomplete lesson. Lack of closure. The need to make amends. Number 11, by the book, abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural or family customs, universal laws. Number 12, a change in the wind, a sense that unseen change has been initiated, preparation for a storm. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. Feeling a shift. Uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow. Number 13. Fork in the road. Time to make a decision. Considering the consequences as you prepare to act. Owning up to your obligation to make a necessary choice. Number 14. Truth be told. Honesty. Accepting things at face value. Coming out of denial. The willingness to be transparent. Clarity of communication. Number 15, message in a bottle, communication, a sign, a kaladon, the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. Number 16. All that glitters, a need to see beyond the superficial, the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature, trying to be something you're not, chasing after every sparkly new thing, being mercurial. Seventeen. The fates, fate, karma, acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. Number 18, serendipity, opportunity allied with readiness, the awareness of synchronicity, Luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols. A magical alignment of events. Number 19. Flexible. Teachability. Open-mindedness. Being adaptable without compromising what's most important. Number 20, imagine. I love that card. Is that not the prettiest card? Imagine. Turning imagination into manifestation. Creative thought. Visualization. 
the power of aligning imagery and feelings, creativity, illusions. Number 21, clean it up. Getting to the core of a situation. Freedom from a burden. Cleaning house. Sweeping away what is no longer needed. Twenty-two, blessed, something wonderful that is unearned and unexpected, grace that is an unforeseen gift from spirit. And you know, that's really a wonderful gift when something like that happens to you and you feel so blessed. It's important to remember you're not the only one getting blessed. The person who gives also gets blessed. Number 23, peace. Freedom from attachment. Radical acceptance. Twenty-four, time for a nap, rest, rejuvenation, and renewal. Temporary non-action, allowing dreams to arise. Twenty-five, round and round. The spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break, revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. 26. Happy, happy. Don't you love the sound of that? That's such a great card. Essential meaning, joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. 27. Oh, now I have pages that want to stick together. 27. Number 27. Exchanging gifts. The law of giving and receiving. Currency. Trade-offs. Weighing cost in determining value. 28, building blocks, strong foundations, a beautiful work in progress. 29. Number 29, breathe. Patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, trust. 30. Tick-tock, timelessness, divine timing, immeasurable time. 31. Why? Motives driving intention. The power of knowing the why. 32. Here and now. Being fully present in the moment. Living one day at a time. 33. Chaos and conflict. Disarray. Being at cross purposes with another. The tension of opposites. The value of chaos before order. 
number 34, a leg up, receiving help, delegating authority, interdependence. Number 35, loyal heart, fidelity, loyalty, devotion. Number 36, come to the edge, courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear and accepting risk. Number 37, never ending story, essential meanings, self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. Number 38. To be fair. Balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Now, who's messaging me at this time of night? <laughs> Number 39, new life, birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. Number 40, co-create, creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, manifestation. Number 41, soulmates. Harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. Number 42, chop wood, being grounded in everyday experience, humility. Number 43, deep knowing, intuition, listening to the oracle within, empathy, hypersensitivity. Number 44, thinker, strategy, being analytical and logical. Number 45, time to go, endings, completion, walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience. Number 46, regeneration, rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. Number 47, go the distance, essential meanings, endurance, strength, the long haul. Number 48, poised, being ready, bringing something to light, being at your best, confidence. Number 49, observer, perspective, objectivity, neutral, perspective, objectivity, 
neutral observation from a distance. Sorry about that one. My mind went blank for a minute. I wasn't seeing it. Number 50. No place like home. Authenticity. Coming home to yourself. Feeling at home. Arriving at a place where you just fit. Being comfortable in your own skin. Number 51, milk and honey, the taste of prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. Number 52, mending. Forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. And that's it. That's the entire deck. Here's the box again in case y'all want to screenshot, take a screenshot of it or just write it down. All the information is in the description box. I basically just copied and pasted the description from uh, the website so that I wouldn't miss anything with it. But like I said, I just got this deck about about two months ago, a month and a half, something like that. And I've only used it a couple of times, but I really do like this deck. It's very interesting, the readings you get off of it. And of course, there are so many options to choose from with each card. So, um, this is published through Hay House, so uh, you can get it through them. You can buy it on Amazon. Uh, I'm sure you could probably get it on Etsy. There's uh, lots of websites, you know, that, that sell the cards. So, if you like this one, and hopefully you did, uh, you can go out and buy one. I will tell you that Hay House is actually having a sale right now on a lot of their card decks. So it might you might save a little money if you check there as opposed to uh, Amazon or, or somewhere like that. Well, that's about it. That's, that's all for this one. Y'all have a great day, and we'll talk soon. Bye for now.